Title, Sea Corridor of Ukraine Grains, Smooth Sailing or Waves Ahead. TL, DR, the UN is cooking up a plan to make a sea corridor for Ukrainian grain exports with Turkey playing the overseer role. But, like a boat in stormy weather, it ain't all smooth sailing. When you think of grain, you might imagine your grandma's homemade bread or that overpriced quinoa salad you had last week. But for Ukraine, grain means business. Big business. And the stakes. As high as that artisanal sourdough loaf you splurge on once a month. Now, here's the situation. The UN has this idea, hey, why not set up a sea corridor for those Ukrainian grain exports? Sounds simple, right? But, like trying to find a gluten-free option at a county fair, there are hurdles. Let's dive in, shall we? Ukraine is known for its rich black soil, perfect for grain farming. But when it comes to exporting all that grainy goodness, things have gotten sticky. Enter the UN, coming in like a superhero with a plan. And who's going to oversee this nautical highway of grain exports? Turkey. Now, why Turkey? Maybe it's because they're neighbors, or maybe it's because they love a good challenge. But hold up, not everyone's on board with this plan. See, there are those who say the sea corridor idea might just be a shipwreck waiting to happen. With politics, trade regulations, and more coming into play, will this grand idea sink or swim? And speaking of swimming, let's chat about those hurdles. Without getting too deep into the weeds, or the grains, there are concerns about how this will all play out. Who's going to pay for it? What about security? And can we expect any sourdough diplomacy issues between nations? After all, bread can be a touchy subject. Now, let's bring it back home. Imagine your favorite bakery running out of bread. Shocking, right? That's the scale we're talking about for Ukraine. It's not just about the money, it's about national pride, jobs, and even global food supply. So, here we are, at a crossroads. The UN's plan is ambitious, daring even. But is it the right move? And will the world get its grain? Only time, and perhaps a few international discussions over croissants, will tell. Question to chew on, if you were in charge, how would you ensure the grain gets to where it needs to go, without any, you know, grainy drama?